Welcome to a lesson on polynomials of one variable. Let's begin by looking at examples of algebraic expressions that are polynomials given here and examples of algebraic expressions that are not polynomials given here. The definition of a polynomial can vary based upon the source, but the terms of a polynomial in one variable must be a constant or the product of a constant and a variable with a non-negative integer exponent. So looking at our polynomials given here, notice how we have several constants. Here we have the constant five, here we have the constant six, and here we have the constant negative seven. And now for the remaining variable terms, let's go ahead and include the coefficients as well as the exponents on the variable. So w is equal to one w to the first, negative z is equal to negative one times z to the first, and x is equal to one x to the first. So notice how the remaining terms are the product of a constant and a variable with a non-negative integer exponent. So again, w is equal to one times w to the first. Here we have negative seven y to the fourth, which is equal to negative seven times y to the fourth. Negative z is equal to negative one times z to the first. Two x to the second is equal to two times x to the second, and x is equal to one x to the first. Notice all the terms fit into these two categories. Now let's look at the examples of the expressions that are not polynomials. First we have five divided by x. Notice this is not a product of a constant and a variable. Here we have five divided by x, so we have a quotient. We can also write this in the form of five times x to the power of negative one. Notice in this form the exponent is not a non-negative integer. Next we have negative seven y to the two-thirds because the exponent is two-thirds here, and two-thirds is not a non-negative integer. This is not a polynomial. And finally, in our last expression, the first and the third terms do satisfy the condition for a polynomial, but the second term doesn't, and therefore this is not a polynomial. The square root of x is equal to x raised to the power of one-half, and once again, this exponent is not a non-negative integer. Now let's look at some additional definitions. A monomial is a polynomial consisting of one term. So for example, here we have a polynomial consisting of four terms, but if the polynomial had one term, for example, if the polynomial was just 12x to the fifth, this would be a monomial. A binomial is a polynomial consisting of two terms. So for example, if we had a polynomial that was 12x to the fifth minus 2x to the second, this would be a binomial. A trinomial is a polynomial consisting of three terms. So for example, if we had a polynomial like 12x to the fifth minus 2x to the second plus x, this would be an example of a trinomial. Next, a leading term is a term that contains the highest power of the variable in the polynomial. So using this as an example, notice the highest power on x is five, and therefore the leading term would be 12x to the fifth. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term. Since 12x to the fifth is equal to 12 times x to the fifth, the leading coefficient would be 12. The constant term is the term with no variable factor. So again, looking at this polynomial here, notice how the term negative seven does not have a factor of x, and therefore negative seven would be the constant term. And then finally, the degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent on the variable in the polynomial. Again, the highest exponent on x is five, therefore this is a degree five polynomial. Now let's look at example one. Here we're given different polynomials. We're asked to name them, find the leading coefficient, find the constant term, and then finally give the degree. So again, the name is based upon the number of terms so this polynomial has three terms, so we call it a trinomial. This polynomial has four terms. Once it has more than three terms, we simply call it a polynomial. This polynomial has three terms, we have another trinomial. This polynomial has two terms, which is a binomial. And here we have one term, so we have a monomial. 
Next we're asked to find the leading coefficient, which is the coefficient of the leading term. Remember the leading term is the term that has the highest exponent on the variable. Notice here the leading term is 24a to the sixth because the highest exponent on a is six and therefore the leading coefficient would be 24. In this polynomial the highest exponent on m is three so this would be the leading term and therefore the leading coefficient is two. We need to be careful on this example. The terms are not in descending order. The highest exponent on x is three, so this would be the leading term. Notice how the coefficient would be one. So the leading coefficient is one. In our binomial, since this is x to the first, the leading term is negative two x, and therefore the leading coefficient is negative two. Here we only have one term, so this is a leading term, and therefore the leading coefficient is four. Next we're asked to give the constant term, which is a term that does not contain a variable factor. So the constant term in this polynomial would be five. The constant term in this polynomial would be negative eight because of the subtraction. The constant term here is negative seven. The constant term here is positive four. Now for our monomial, it looks like there is no constant term, but of course we could write plus zero, where zero is a constant, so the constant term would be zero. Finally, we're asked to find the degree. The degree of a polynomial in one variable is the highest exponent on a variable in the polynomial. So notice here, the highest exponent on A is six, so this is a degree six polynomial. The highest exponent on M here is three, so we have a degree three polynomial. The highest exponent on X here is three, so we have another degree three polynomial. The highest exponent on X here is one, so we have a degree one polynomial. And here the highest exponent on X is three, so we have a degree three polynomial. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.